Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here, we're back with another video. Today's video is going to be on my all-time favourite seasonings and flavours to flavour your food, man. Make it nice without any calories. There's absolutely no calories in anything I'm about to show you except for one product, which is an artificial sweetener. But there's uh, way less calories than normal sugar, so that's you know a, a real calorie saver. And I'm about to get into it, so without further ado, sit back, relax, let me teach you something, and I'll be back in a sec. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. So first of all guys, I'm going to start with the basics, alright, your salt and pepper. Who can't go past salt and pepper? What I would recommend would be to make sure you have a grinder for each. So, you know, whether that's pink Himalayan rock salt, like everyone seems to have, or just any rock salt, I do recommend having a, having a grinder for, for each. You know, as far as texture goes, I love it. I don't want table salt and I don't want really ground pepper. It doesn't give me any satisfaction whatsoever it doesn't give me any texture and it comes out of the fucking shaker too fast so i would recommend now as well as that in that sort of category i've got this herbamere stuff now this is a vegetable vegetable salt what is it pure sea salt infused with certified organic garden fresh herbs and vegetables celery leek onion chives parsley garlic basil rosemary thyme and a few others that I can't really say. Fantastic products. Uh, I have to actually thank my ex-girlfriend for recommending it to me. I, I I love it now, so thank you. Ray, wherever you are. She won't be watching this. Um, those would have to be the most basic, but everyone knows about those, right? So, from there, we go to your master food range. And this is actually select from Woolworths, but that's all right. So my three top master food seasonings, and you know, you go to the supermarket, you see a huge array of fucking seasonings, don't you? And it's like, which one do I pick? Well, the three that I am going to recommend, the three that I use the most, and you can really just completely change a dish. If you've got a plain protein sauce, like a plain meat, I mean, just pour some of this shit on it and it makes it delicious straight away. Uh, my top three would be Moroccan seasoning, which is a mild one. I can't handle anything that's not mild, personally. We've got a steak seasoning in mild, and we've got a Thai seasoning in mild. Now, I don't know if these three come out in, in spicy ones, but as far as taste goes, as far as spicing up a dish, making it either Thai style, or you know a nice smoky steak style, or a Moroccan style, it's so easy, you just pour this shit over it. I'm quite liberal in my, in my, um, Seasonings, I definitely have a lot. I think my sodium amount is probably higher than your average, but I don't really mind. You know, living in Alice Springs, it's extremely hot here, and I go through at least three or four liters of water a day, so if not more. So, you know, I'm flushing out any extra sodium that I have in my diet, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, as well as those, those are sort of salt based seasonings. You've got mixed herbs, so I'll add these into all different types of stuff. One thing that comes to mind is burger patties. I'll uh, mix mixed herbs and maybe one of the Moroccan or Thai seasonings into turkey mints or beef mints, chicken mints, anything like that, and make really nice, low-fat, high-protein, tasty-as-fuck burgers to then make like your homemade burgers or anything like that. And the lists are endless. There's no calories in any of these, so they're fantastic. And finally, uh, sweet sort of seasonings. Now... I I have a huge sweet tooth. I don't know about you guys, but the thing that fucks me up the most when I'm dieting is the fact that I still have a sweet tooth. And goddamn, artificial sweeteners after a while just don't cut it, do they? But, you know, when you are on a restricted diet and you do have to have artificial sweeteners, this would be the artificial sweetener that I would recommend. It does have aspartame in it, okay? But as far as the taste... I think that this one is the least artificial tasting of the lot. I really do like equal. I do have this one here, which is stevia, which is 100% natural. But, like I said, as far as the taste goes, I actually prefer this one. So, it's up to you guys. These are two artificial sweeteners that I use on a daily basis. 
but mostly I use this one. So as far as calories go, one gram of Equal has four calories. One gram of Stevia has three calories, so they're pretty much on par. Another seasoning, sweet type of seasoning that I really, really enjoy is cinnamon. Cinnamon, it's fantastic. I love it on my oats, I love it on my pancakes, I love it on my cereal, um, in my shakes. I fucking love cinnamon, to be honest. And another product that I've actually bought recently, which is based on cinnamon, but with a couple of other things, is pumpkin pie spice, bruh. Pumpkin pie spice. Now, I got this from iHerb. After watching a lot of American vlogs, American fitness vlogs, and seeing them have a lot of pumpkin pie flavored shit, I thought <laughs> I'd better get onto it. Certainly don't need much of it. And if you ever wanted to know what pumpkin pie spice it was actually made of, it's got cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. So it's very strong. I do enjoy it, but I don't need much. And those pretty much go together. And then finally, probably my favorite, but something I've got to be, you know, kind of careful on is cinnamon sugar, which is 87% sugar, 7% cinnamon, and it's got some other shit in there, which makes up the other 6%, which is ridiculous. So. Cinnamon sugar is pretty much sugar with a little bit of cinnamon through it. If you do want to make a cinnamon sugar that's low in calories, obviously you mix up some equal or some stevia with the cinnamon and you do it that way. But I really love this shit and you know, I'll put it on my oats once again. I'll put it on anything that these two go on. I'll do it with this. So that would be my top tips guys for seasonings. If you've made it, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. Thanks for the support. Give us a like if you feel like I deserve it. I feel like if anyone opened their pantry and they had all of this shit to uh, choose from, I'd be very happy and I think they, they would be too. So, yeah. Until next time guys, train hard. I'm here cutting, cutting for a show. These things are things that I have used on a, as I said, weekly if not daily basis, to flavor my food with no calories to make sure I stick to my goals, which is to compete at the moment. I'm nine weeks out. This is where we're at, nine weeks out, people. Who knows when you'll see this video? Who knows if I've competed or not? Or whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't care how I do. I just want to get in the best shape of my life. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Peace.